watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Cal Fire Butte County made quick work of a small fire near Lone Tree Road in Palermo. The flames broke out before noon and grew to about three quarters of an acre. No word yet on how this fire started. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking those warmer temperatures out there. Jason, I'm noticing that shift. It's nice, but not when you see that smoke. Yeah, last week it was uh, unseasonably cool. We had highs in the 50s and 60s. We've said goodbye to that now for quite some time going forward. We'll actually have lows that are closer to what last week's highs were here in a few days. You can see our current temperatures, and if you remember from yesterday, if you're outdoors, it was actually a lot higher than this yesterday afternoon. Right now it's 85 in Redding. The high was 86, and the average high is 82, but we were in the 90s yesterday. It's 81 degrees in Chico, a comfortable 74 in Paradise, and it's also 74 degrees in Bernie and in Weaverville. But compared to that weekend heat that we had, significantly cooler. This is going to turn around though. Right now, everyone between four and nine degrees cooler than 24 hours ago. All those high clouds that we had late last night through much of today are now all the way into Nevada. So a mostly clear sky right now, and that's the trend that we're going to have tonight through tomorrow morning. Mostly clear to completely clear sky through most of tomorrow. We'll have a few high clouds intruding into the sky by tomorrow afternoon, but they pose no threat for some of that lovely rain. We would love to have more of it. It's just not in the forecast. Then we're going to have another weather pattern shift. This is what I was telling you about last week. We're going to have a larger trough of low pressure pushing south to our area, and that will mean an increase in our wind speed, and this is not the time of year that we ever want that to happen. So tomorrow we'll have some breezes blowing mostly between 15 and 25 miles an hour. It's going to get stronger by Wednesday morning, but especially Wednesday night, Thursday, and Friday, that's when that Gulf of Alaska area Area of low pressure pushes southward through the Pacific Northwest right over Northern California. So our wind is going to get a lot stronger for the latter half of this week. So if you want to get outside, maybe do some golfing tomorrow when we don't have a lot of wind, just a moderate breeze tomorrow afternoon. It will be fairly pleasant. We'll have mild temperatures in the morning, getting warmer by the noontime at 80 degrees. And then by the mid afternoon, already in the upper 80s, highs tomorrow will be in the lower to mid 90s. And it's going to get hotter and windier after that. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. Mostly sunny and warmer for Trinity and Siskiyou counties with highs in the upper 70s to lower and mid 80s. 85 degrees for Weaverville. Expecting a high of 82 in Shingletown and Quincy. A warm 77 in Alturas with some breezes picking up. But it's going to get windier later this week. For the Ridge, we'll have mild lows tonight in the 50s. Highs will be warmer than they were today. Mid to upper 70s and lower 80s. And it's going to get even warmer than that on Wednesday. For the Valley, we'll have a Mostly clear sky tonight, mild lows in the lower to mid 50s. Highs will be hotter by about 10 degrees above average. Lower 90s from Redding all the way down to Corning. And for the Chico area, averaging in the mid 50s tomorrow morning. Highs averaging in the lower 90s tomorrow afternoon. Again, 10 degrees hotter than average. And we have even more heat and more wind coming our way. Next seven days in Chico, windy weather Wednesday and especially Thursday and Friday. The fire danger will be hotter or higher rather, and it's going to get hotter by this coming weekend. For the Redding area, most days will be in the 90s, with the hottest day being next Monday with a hot 97. Food 